Uh, my flow chart flips open. Uh, also, just uh, two things. Uh, first is uh, I'm going to say clear, slow, and loud a lot. They are very self-explanatory as what you need to do to adjust. Uh, also, um, if it's something that I don't understand, uh, I just say that I don't get it and I don't vote on it. Uh, and what I mean by this is high theory needs to be explained well. Uh, and then the last thing is just in close <coughs> debates, can you please like delineate where you're moving on flows? Because like sometimes in those debates, I just flow the entire thing straight down. Because I'd rather not miss an argument than like get to the right flow. I'm like that's just harder for everybody. So if we just like give like two seconds between switching around flows, it just makes it easier. All right, thank you. All right, Jane, so you everyone good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. Part one is evolution. Evolution, difference by definition of condition. All life on Earth is not progressive in a Lamarckian sense, but it will become better. Rather, we branch out like the trees, mutating over and over, and explain the diversity of life. Havilland. Genetics of the evolution of cats with diversity like over. Generation of evolution, proportional of evolution, and continuous change of mutation, constant mutation without mutation in population. Could not change over time in response to environment. Mutation arises continuously. The cousin of the species is perfect. DNA is pure mutation. Make it possible to have quickly environmental change. Mutation occur random, not arise out of the need for adaptation. And experience is not static, but constantly shifting with friends of different perception of condition and mutation. Explain your understanding of necessary difference as Havilland too. Adaptation of all change in primary. Sense or good vision for the advantage of rejecting the next local branch off of the trees of all the decision cutting to spatial relations to achieve the through the ability to see three dimensions, the ability to change colors, all primates, and direct on three to the coloration implications. A point, any ethical theory that the human centric starting point, epistemic is different, to be seen after different conditions. So, no, to be developed direct sense through organic experience for the world in different ways. For example, the often this sort of capability to voter, you imagine to be pointing to any first sense of constraint on ethical theory. So they determine how we can have obligations that inevitably influence how I experience the person by end. Part two is the animality. Animality is normally explains how practical obligation of the self is formed to pose the sense of reciprocal human animal obligations by our evolutionary. Just through all by, by the ability to set and pursue and course guard. A living to use a lot upon itself when something is the sort of animal must reject what is doing obligation to rejection of the identity argument proceeds in the case of people's animal and your fundamental form of human identity. Human identity depends on zero value animal and value. Nothing animals are present upon us. We will be present of animals upon us. The way you ask, how would you like if someone did it? You cried an animal. No, more than voice that a person across the express pandemic. Uh, the condition to change the condition. So, a point of obligation to animals. However, the human is unique in its ability to reflect on the end or pursues. This creates a condition necessary for moral culpability that uniquely obligates us to acknowledge animal nature across evolution, difference, course guard, or force. Rationality, intelligence, obviously. Because these humans being several of the ability to protect the present of an animal, but I thought the same conscience, fear of desire, rational animal, and conscience, that the sheer or fear of the desire is all aware of the clutch, act rational, and be capable of the same principle that action along with your conscience or principles. Part three is history, however, all we're not born as autonomous agents, rather, we're dependent on vulnerability to other two or one. Our evolution trait explains that they're physically born dependent on other constant states, you'd say the universe that we can never account for, but we're one. My efforts to get up a count of myself under finding source, either a condition make a point in their precise the history of my body, I have no recollection of social content of self, but for virtue, I can be present temporarily to perceive self version my account of myself, not if I know. Definitive story, matters and narrative reconstruction. You always undergird vision. Second, even as rational agent, can you communicate answers through intelligible through a social horizon, not an explanatory truth I face. Rather, we created by sociality. Butler too. We have more looked at myself dependent on the norm horizon. The other sees other recognizing norms. Like one the other baby single norms. Truly, this orientation for taking fire. Cover recognition. I prefer the terms of cover recognition. Not matter. Not except to a norm recognition. I prefer recognition to you. I both subject norm and agency of you and the subject is not of jurisdiction over its own pace and condition. My critical evolutionary trait not nor obligation or precariousness because it grounds the subject away, not repossessed by one account of self. Butler three. A theory of subject formation, not the limits of knowledge of subject, is a fake to itself, not likely to do what it does, or no relation to others by virtue of relation to itself. Heck, though, must follow the precise to virtue subject and point ethical ones. Oh, although the human is uniquely rational, it's trajectory defined by reason of sociality, where it completely equal the animal to the evolution of no matter what's the standard, it was suspecting the constraints of evolution, difference, impact, health, intentions, outweigh force, the end, consequence, one point, and then unifies your action, and makes the act smoothly better for you, most low, and the intent of action, since I actually making a second as part of rational affection, where actual reason ends are held more responsible to this, must actual reason tend things more the correct part three, four, four, light. As the idea of the resolution, general principle, my phone clarifies which rights animals do with respect to a specific evolution path. I don't have a specific enforcement mechanism, but if you want me to defend specific links, just ask in cross like now from first rights are contextual different pieces, different obligations, <coughs> evolution paths create different constraints. For example, some animals will die without access to dark they have a right to a darkness. Any other conception rights assume the human centric standpoint point ethic violence. Our framework second, our framework explains what animal nature is by the which warrants why the creation of obligation constraints and against animals for evolution. What makes us agents we cannot refuse to respect the animals and construct on relation to all animals fall under animal nature by the obligation. And third, the law rights are the protection for all life, meaning that not creating animal rights is a contradiction of original purpose. The app is uniquely 
A call to which protect evolution in your friend's course guard. The idea of the world that still represents the world and what makes me so proper to claim of value must be shown for the interactional type of beings are originally in a position like that, but the interactional reflection of content when people alone use orders in accordance with right. Each of us has a right to make or he or she needs to be thrown into having no choice but to use resources not only creatures on the world in the basis of composition or the resource that possessed by all the animal arbitrary <coughs> beginning of the world belongs to all the creatures to accept the animal freedom is protected by rights after a four finally even if social structure are critical all social structure are bound by the same sense of vulnerability for poor will nevertheless even can be recognition within past like for ethics is improved by human animal relations people cry for disease animals use animals with daily attacks as receiving items under you first <coughs> all negative critical links must be advocated the one who not the representation of the method prefer a point of limited infinite amount of things I could necessarily link to in their text for example you can have infinite representation cortex which moves the entire the one who never had the ability to get a certain substance of limited critical history I gave you point of topic to say education here and during her operation would completely kill topic education because we would never literally never invent one to get a link to any sort of class records because we are not able to ever debate the substance you're always going to go for reps our first RC point we solve 100% of the office we say reps case all value there's just reason to negate my specific words on reason of O which means that you still get access to the office now fairness outweighs your critique point of value you argue seem to only consider that fairness medical training really the best determine who makes a rule of one of your nights to make the other as we agree with that all the ability to judge truth value so we have the AC cross application still where B point conflates the pre-post yet the scene pointing you to doesn't mean go for the best to most share your office no terminal impact on the right your methodology does not actually do anything which means that you should err heavily affirmative on intuition C point makes better resolve high theory but no sense we cross that for either informational <laughs> sense or must have better create certain norms that are cross application obligation or business link on the way in question destroys the it's all frequently the entire B point controls the internal link debate allows conflicts and cluster because the issue have the ability to go in depth on the layer of fairness violation that can I get this only time education you debate E point they should read any arguments for why their app would take out theory in the one and see not the two hour especially if they're gonna read theory because of these arguments were introduced in one and see they have to start the debate reject all two hour responses now paradigm issues A point ask is one or three otherwise negative be infinite be so to which I would never be able to check back and be switched always any sort of or they're gonna go for about one or three that and one or three is uniquely a reason to drop the very four minute one it does not have enough time to win on theory and potentially go for a substitute means you have to be punished also created setting precedent in terms of use and competing interpretation they point reasonably to arbitrary back to question reasonable the first one requires arbitrary judgment eventually to evaluate the round B point it collapses the competing term use often even to determine reasonably to concede the authority of competing term saying reasonably is reasonable circle no two in our RBS six minutes two in our is more than enough time to sit on the three debate that don't necessarily need to have the ability to collapse the one and also screws over the two in our if the two in our has RBS because it means you got a six minute dump which creates an independent six minute time scale also defensive theories incoherent A point is you should evaluate the question of those theory debates the question of strength and link back to point obviously a minimal amount of use is not outweigh maximum amount of use point which means it makes theory as a concept incoherent and resolvable also ask theory you should evaluate after your actually that's my uh, <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Tell. Uh, so I guess the first question I have is the ad uh, the offense. So your brother three evidence warrants by like the subjects don't have jurisdiction over their own a pass oh pass through whatever how you pronounce that. Uh, what is the warrant here? The warrant is that certain things are limited in terms of our knowledge of the self. For example, if our, our, if our warrants are correct about like, the way the body functions, then obviously you, there's certain periods in time you do not have the ability to recollect. For example, you do not have jurisdiction over what happened to your when you were a baby, what social norms mediated you, which means that in terms of being binding to the ethics, you have to necessarily have a conception of yourself with the other. So what is that conception of the self of the other? I.e. the fact that we're constantly, we're, we're bound to them in terms of our ethics, which creates a binding. Wait, if you, why does the other <laughs> want to determine the self? Why can't we say that we have no conception of the self? No, because I, my argument is uniquely the other conditions of I.e. or what we- Well, your claim is there's no self-knowledge, and therefore we have to rely on the other's condition. Why can't we just accept there's no self-knowledge? Why can we not accept there's no self-knowledge? Because obviously we have knowledge right now. Are you can debate- Wait, so there's self-knowledge. It's not self-knowledge, it's social knowledge is the argument. But my question is, so, so is your claim it's inevitable? My claim is in certain, we are always going to be able to construct some understandings of truth and language. Otherwise, we would not be able to talk, like, literally right now. Wait, the wait, wait explain why we would be able to literally talk right now. I understand, like, why there's social norms on that. Why does that mean, why does that relate to the, the like, understanding of the self? Because the understanding of the self is conditioned by how we speak about ourselves. For example, I think of myself as some, I think of myself as, for example, Asian, because that is a question of what sociality determines for me. It's not like... It's, so you're just accepting what sociality <laughs> determines for you, is the claim? Cool. Not um, the under view, you say, how like fairness framework. constraints and high theory makes no sense. Why does high theory make no sense? All right, so the C point is like, if you go for arguments why high theory would take out fairness, those would all inevitably have to be along the lines of some form of rule. The rule is wait, wait, wait. So actually, wait, wait. So they, why, why do they assume a rule? I guess why why is it like the, the practice itself does not make sense? I mean, obviously you can you can make, you can go for arguments for why your hard high theory K would not assume that would not be take out fairness in the sense of saying like rules are bad or some sort of conception is bad. My argument if it does indict the idea of theory is is here because it tries to set a norm, then that justifies the judge can never vote because everything sets a norm that they would do that would necessitate them getting the ballot. Okay. Um, <laughs> Cool. The E sub one is in terms. What's the E sub one actually? 
ace of point. Ace of ace of point. Ace of point. So that argument is well, if you're gonna go, there's just if you're gonna go for k takes out theory, you have to read this argument in the one NP. I've initiated this debate in the app. Wait, to an R just not aren't you gonna read like one? If you read one yard theory, don't, doesn't my like response is contextual based on the one yard shell you read? Two things. One, I also read AC theory. Two, yes, I initiated the fairness versus k debate in the app. Yes, you have a burden of rejoining or responding to the negative argument. Okay. That's how debate works. Yeah, I understand that. Um, I'm going to take the last 15 seconds to that. Quarter is uh, one off the It's empty. Matt, you got it? Yeah. Thank you, this guy. Yeah. Yep. 
They're focusing on ideal perfect as subject functions under our starting point for normal to close to recognize the way our sentiments and becoming controls their model. We just have a point of stasis where we begin to subject ourselves and rather identify our suit through food relations to the machine. This, this is oh, like specifically their course guard evidence, which is factor reflection this game is key agency. John. Little philosophy part begins with a self-identified subject. The subject is prior to the world because it's given form of content empty. Primary because being unit vocal, the world cannot be articulated in the relationship of self identity. All being is imminent. There's no self content identity outside the world. Termination is constant. There's no universal subject. The various all universal rights, but all, all variable with diverse process of subject, subject, subject rational and all a large direction through, through the world. World and philosophers regarding national and punishment for normativity to be done through the action, but because it's vicious as an entity, it's vicious because we disagree with the, uh, the, the, the normative question whether we have the reason to glad that the guide our sentiments allows us to allow ourselves to be granted and lose replace the individual with the machine and the individual with the various relationships to obtain among them are understood as a machine process, unlike organism which is bounded by the identity, unlike the static subject, but both of your machines include connecting and, re and, re and reconnecting the other identities, the liberal subject, consensus of government because it's ability to realize its own interest independent machines that produces connections on a predictable. They will say evolution not studied, but your orientation towards evolution necessitates rationality, which proves that in the thesis like the key, uh, in the, the thesis of the they also use or not use it, I'll use it because the legibility of the also you not use the state, which the evidence because the legibility of the state sovereign allows sovereign categories and the priorities of those categories. Uh, because governance of paradigm is, 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 is one of the uh, primary mechanisms which we need to uh, Advocacy is also an independently because as well, which means I meet their shall uh, Also, identifying difference and then we target individuals as deviant. Evan 10. With the rupees, predicate elimination of difference, more, more wars dedicated to achieving the project moving more because the and, 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 and between the poverty and the modernity of the world, the past, more, more, uh, unification of species, what becomes dangerous, emerges liberal, imaginary, and violence, and the same against enemies of humanity, doing so necessary. Uh, a global species require, requires violence. To get a little bit of results, turn over to dismantle the faces undermines the face shared machine. Since uh, they, they seek to recognition through normative value, the curve also, also also the status of the critique is unconditional. Big no, I'm specifying here the bad big no 12. This may the basis of politics, uh, of novel and becoming based reality about situation. This may the basis of decentralization, transformation, basis of resonance, select uh, reality at their heart of forms of political practices, misconceptions of the faces of our structure, productive desires, and such imposition given their meaning reduces them to predetermined traditions. Although the subject and signifiers are not the cause of significance, but also the reactive effects of uh, which means constructed through association elements coherent form the concrete faces always, always defined by assemblies of rules embodied by the abstract machine. And the role of the about is a better beta, but in turn, you see by spotting recognition of the union around the majority of that leads to real regulation of what Carlin and Wall in the subject is coming to conform to the system of producer education that that functions directly to life according to the goal of majority uh, people, majority education, and fundamental mode of uh, production, reputation, content, and identification that brings that person in general. The form of the state where education is found upon the content of potential political action, dealing with the majority impulses on that produce condition for thinking, which outweighs on the app and epistemic question, even if they win all their normal things, ideas that uh, the, the idea of majority and thinking, thought thinking has already skewed all the evaluation, which means they cannot uh, leverage you against this. Also, you, you cannot separate from your method or your efforts. Is the the affective relationships that the app in the first place which you have invested in? The way we compare methods based on the one you defended in the app in the first place, otherwise, it'd just be like a new one in our plan, for example. He's the point is somebody can see the questions of whether you get also there's no permutations. Uh, uh, method, methods are a question of sequencing. If my, I'm, I'm, the argument is that my method is uh, a prior question to the app, so permutations are not non consequential. Also, also there's no <coughs> problem, like, we are incoherent since there's no stable subject, there can never be consistent practices or interpretation. We follow since the way the subject relates and constantly shifts. Ace of point takes out the fund, fundamental premise theory applies because we're trying to set numbers in the first place. point, there's infinite numbers of possible interpretations, meaning that it would justify also takes out irresponsible, takes out like the uh, Based around our results, because our there's different relationships we can have to norms on that. There's different, uh, not that norms in themselves are regressive. Since we cannot have one universal relationship to norms in the process, we can interpret that uh, we can relate them different and differently, which also proves that like things like speed, like things like uh, makes the wrong variables. Also, we we'll reject one or three on face. He's a point I only have one chance to respond to it after it's introduced. They have two chances. They miss one, they get to speak before they're after me, which means that they get to uh, debate and end the debate, which, which is which is a piece of one on two, and they have to go for the counter tribute and respond to the other show. They can uh, either one on two or every piece of one is the one error creature times two, and the rest of the run because they get the one error and two error, which, which is seven minutes, create my two error, which is six minutes, and then this gives them. A whole minute engine on three discipline. I lose the facts of being able to end my practices of the app by going to NAR, which gives them the money to effectively weigh on the three. They're going to say infinite abuse, but obviously, infinite abuse is, is indicted with all, all these arguments because I also, also, infinite abuse is not relevant specifically if you have uh, spikes in the app, specifically also, this will indict your ability to extend, extend spikes in the app because the ability, you know, uh, so all, the, all, the, all the abuse still applies to you still have two features to extend the case. Uh, under review. First, allow no two no responses to aspects, especially when you accept, okay, accept like half of them. Ace of point, aspects are complete, are complete arguments until the winner. There's no violation uh, until the winner and the bottom voters extend on them. Ace of point is key to flash, otherwise, the Apple also put these facts and extend that drop once the winner lost. I got six points next to answer. They write potential side spike in the NC limits to standard education forces to go all around the TV and check out everything losing. Also, winner three is bad because new new cause of causes because new winner are recent to collapsing. Also, 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 on also second, we just reason putting it's winner three and that spikes is intermittent to let you vote on. I feel if I do one number, a minimum of research, I do see if he can still easily debate and win without one error, like when I three, don't vote on his spike. Also, he's going to say compete. He says that competing in chips collapse, but that's the reason. But it's a constraint on what competing in chips can access. I.e., there's a, a, a also it's a constraint specifically one year theory. And this bike also also it also doesn't need the general invention if I have a specific right line or a specific uh, mechanism which you should do. Also, the now the now the uh, fairness arguments first. So also, uh, read the one and is independently fair. First, one on one on K means you can fairly engage. And also, second, it's unconditional, which means that uh, any permutation will solve all your problems. Also, uh, also yeah. Now uh, the underview.
<laughs> which on the rest of the on the rest of our argument, counterbeast from rest because it's key. If I read a method of critique, it also has a uh, independent link to the advocacy. Now, never benefit strategy. Can I test the app from multiple different angles? And specifically, uh, well, for example, I want testing the app on, on a framework and then from the uh, advocacy. Also, add links to the counterbeast if it is one off, one one counter which means that solves all your limit topics because you just have to come one position. Also, solves your limit topics because you can just, you can just leverage a framework against the limit argument. There might be infinite uh, framework for arguments you can read, but there's also infinite like all contention arguments I can read to the link. Also, you say topic education, but method education obviously always because it frames what topic education. Uh, it's a point from what uh, topic education you can have in the first place, which means that always on a conceptual. Level B point. Uh, topic, uh, topic, we, get topic, we can get topic education, but what we can get topic education, that's not unique because I'm also giving you a topic. Also, there's no fair version because the, it's, it's a reason to vote you down. The uh, robot necessity. It's also, you, just, you say I can read it as a dissent, that's not that's an offense, but the robot necessity is why it's offense. Also, uh, on, and he's going to try to level. I know, I know you want someone to use fairness against the key, but fairness is about the argument. I mean, above is like fairness is a practice, or in which norms under fairness is incoherent. So there's argument, even if it wants every pragmatic benefit of fairness, so incoherent. Now, you say evaluation, well, it's incoherent. Well, long view of truth, two plus two equals four, whether or not you can respond to it. Also, uh, also yeah, which means that you, you, you can still evaluate it fairly. You also, also, this is you say completes a pre pre distinction. One, the critique, the critique is that gives a roll of the bouts. Obviously, it's a pre pre there. Also, you say makes debate irresolvable because high theory makes zero sense when you when you collapse the distinction. Oh, 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 I'm not collapsing the distinction. I'm saying the critique is a high slip, and you cannot endorse the idea of norms. I've already, I've already responded by the idea of not being related to related numbers in different ways, but proved by the still, still resolvable in the first place. Also, you say internally is lost for contestation and classroom issues, and absence of going depth in there uh, means you can't engage. But this is just presumes the critique cares about engagement. The critique just cares about breaking down majority majority structures. Also, uh, as in itself presumes the fairness voter in the first place. There's a reason why engagement in your link terms. Okay, also you support it. You can be sure you align. See, obviously. Uh, kind of also, I have one some arguments in the one team, but I need, I need some, some new sooner references because the one year I can uh, go with one year I can just, just explode on a, on a bunch of like you know, new one year shows. I need to be able to test it, test it, test the person specifically. Now, the framework arguments so you're gonna go for like with this Butler argument why recognition is inevitable, but the idea is that uh, we can still be unstable under that structure of recognition. For example, CX was, uh, was, was very evident, was very evident on this question that you, even though, even though recognition might exist, the idea is that we can be unstable, not accept that social norms define the subject rather they affect them through the process of time. For example, uh, things like reason may affect the subject, but it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that, that, that like all things like desires and affects and tendencies still affect the subject. You know, like things like uh, which means that even even if there is like some social 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 social, social conditions, a question of uh, accepting that you are defined by that social condition in the first place. Also, uh, we can still we can still acknowledge that there's no self knowledge independently. Which takes out uh, internally to all of your arguments. Um, uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, all right, all right. Ready? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> What's the unique reason that I should you should get to in our response? It's because the spikes are extended. Oh well, it's like the extent was like a drop in the with the arguments. I don't have a specific flow to it, like you know. Look so you at couldn't them. have just flowed my speech. Well, the, all the arguments are aren't just predicated on that point. I just supercharged the abuse. All right. It's also, things like, like things like paradigm issues are only made sense relative to the one yard like articulation of abuse. Like for example, you drop the debater on one shell, maybe you relevant, but drop the argument on another. So it's like based on the contextual violation of the layer. All right, but my question is, what does it have? To... Actually, that's no, fine. Talk about the link. It is fine. Let's. <laughs> what do you say? Let's talk about the link. So what's the link to the attitude? You say the state is bad. What's yeah. So the so the absent verse from the state, the state of definition of making things legible under that state. For example, in the state's inside a census, you would check off whether you're black, white, male, or female. The idea is the state as an arbiter. Necessitates the model of legal incorporation, uh, right. which causes intelligibility. So how does the alt resolve this question? Well, the alternative makes us uninteligible to the questions. For example, when there's a process and there's a something that masculinity, we reject and we become unstable to the question. The alternative is a methodology on which we can orient ourselves towards a structure of a subject in the first place and allows for the unintelligibility within that subject. We understand that things like blackness may affect the subject. We don't allow that. We do not allow that. Like right. speech of the subject, we need to unilaterally define the subject. Right. Why does the app say that we're unilaterally defined by the by? Uh, like the course guard evidence is pretty explicit on this question. I literally qualify course guard by saying sociality confines reason. How no, I understand. Well, the sociality argument is still a link on that question. Because the idea is we're still defined through social constructive norms. We're still a liberal subject to that question. What does that look mean? Like, for example, the idea of sociality still assumes a practical agent inside of that sociality. The idea is we should not be constrained by sociality. Rather, we should be unintelligible in relationship to that sociality. Like, so what does that, so what, what does that necessarily look like? <coughs> Like I just explained the like, explanation of the alt. Explain. For example, when there's a struck when we accept like for example, when you accept that you're a black, you understand that blackness of a structure may affect the subject. But there's zero articular like <laughs> critique warrant for that, that feature of right. subjectivity. How does that solve your deviance impact though? Because the idea is there's not one, like, for example, we, we embrace the multiplicity of identities. No one unilateral race we compare individuals to. We understand, like, we compare individuals to and allow them to be given to that, uh, like, race. We allow for the multiplicity of identity and the specificity of each subject in their own uh, unstable identification. All right, that's fine. Let's talk about this Carlin and Wallen argument. So what, what is the warrant for why there is an educational obligation? There, sure, there the argument Carlin and Wallen warrants is that uh, the idea of majoritarian thinking or ideal thinking has skewed the idea of what education is in the first place because it always confirms or mandates individuals to conform to that idealized form of what education. That's not my question. My question is why does the judge have an obligation to care about education? 
Uh, well, it's a, it's like an article. So I still want why normatively the critique should be uh, warranted. The education argument is just why the idea of like the majority train thinking just skews our thought in the first place. It's not necessarily predicated on the uh, education claim itself. All right, that's fine. Like if you want to go for one theory, it can be leveraged because it has an education impact, but it's not predicated on that. All right, I'll take the ten seconds to start. <laughs> Wait, can I borrow some paper? <coughs> I need more than that, dude. I was just going to read the two I don't know if you can two words. Yeah, I know. I can't tell you. I know that. <laughs> Two oh six orders F K. You really thought I was gonna read one air theory, didn't you? Considering you didn't ever talk. Uh, there is an overview that, yeah, I guess it's like a framing overview. <coughs> is it very long? <coughs> it's kind of long, yeah. Okay. Alright, so yeah, half top down. Starting point is completely conceded by the one is which is probably problematic for them because they can see that every single point of ethics has to be based on difference and how the new evidence is usually very good on this issue and warns that literally the idea we how we can try to understand difference and the concept of becoming is usually based on who you are or what your social warrants in terms of evolution, which means that their argument is their argument that is a side concern every theory. Their only argument against this is they just claim that you can escape your reason, for example, you can just not care how there's obviously privilege and that every single person can just assume that somebody's having may be someone that still uh, assumes a different conception of the subject, which is always still a linked argument because you have to use your evolutionary sense to have a conception of those senses in the first place. Which is reasonable in the case, okay, now the left line. They say the fourth part of the is the link. They concede the unique warts why rationality is inescapable, i.e., that, that you're still reflecting upon your desires in terms of everything you do. Even if it's true that you're going to say by something like different, you still choose what sort of affect you would follow. For example, if I had two different subjective affects, like I wanted to eat ice cream and I also wanted to lose weight, uh, the, the choice between that is an example of rational affection, which usually proves my argument. Now, the evidence, you say that we can be unstable, unstable through process evidence. However, the unstability still forms stability because you're having a normal conception of what it means to be unstable in the first place, which means the only to do argument. 
in the affect and still be affected by the subject. However, that begs the question why that we bind in the first place. The butler's we have evidence uniquely aware for why we have to be binding. I subject with no jurisdiction which binds us to have to care about the other. You say that we don't care about the other. However, that act of not caring about the other still form mutual recognition with the other, which means it's evident and evident. And, and, and that also begs the question why we would have an obligation to care about the critique, which means you put out on a risk of us. Now the contention, the contention was conceded by the one who accepted the course of evidence for how the act is uniquely called the correct right. Also, linked towards the critique, but it's that we still have to have some sort of engagement with the same order to understand what our respective difference is. Also, the case uniquely linked to it is a form of respecting interest and preventing any sort of deviance, which is the only terminal impact to their critique that they go for another case proper. Uh, start with an overview. Uh, First, binding is key. Binding is key. But you don't have to know how true an ethic is. They don't bind us. If your framework is not binding, you fail to justify why the framework is. You, ju you just say dualists cannot break up for binding because it requires creating restricted potential forms of government, which means very before when it comes to the state. Just say you could do that. But the question why you should the first and if my framework is binding, the vulnerability is usually key. Of both of us, that's the butlers. We have which means is if under reason you could reject the framework. Second, framework is my framework. Terminal defense. They put my framework respect becoming dual. Looking at evolution difference, concentration between and the entire difference. The entirety they have. Starting point, which means we don't have to argue. The so agency is key to any sort of ethics. It's for transitions between forms of difference, which means the case is a link to all. Your, uh, and all of your other sensory counter uh, uh, in terms of how you are affected. Now, the line by line of the, the line, of the line on the top of the frame is do not have this link, doesn't make any sense because we are uniquely an argument about how we condition ourselves. So yes, we say rationality exists, but we understand the way subjectivity conditions rationality. I do our history arguments through the Butler Avenue. You, just, you say it's still you say it's still linked because obviously I still care about rationality. I mean, what, the country, you still care about rationality. Comments around, for example, you are still talking to me, which proves that you have an understanding of rationality. B point is that uh, B, B, B point, uh, and also this set the separate many, uh, all, Now, the state link, the state link doesn't make any sense because obviously, state is still inevitable. Subject. And even under delusionism, we still have a sense of state. Also, for, also the permutation would resolve this argument because the argument is that we particular rights and particular animals, which allows us to get rid of the deviancy. How now the evidence evidence is no, the evidence evidence is just a floating evidence that would link back to materiality, but there's no reason it's relevant in my favor. You have that normative will justify this at least at the very least hold the two in order to a very high threshold for explaining how they normally justify these arguments versus now the now the alternative permutation. We can actually do both. We can be come through we can we can become through that we can use becoming and use it when it's the unique starting point. Also, the also Darwinian evolution is key to delusion material difference. That's all done. Biology could be a fourth place to start to be material evidence. To biology, the science of life, unpredictably, every love Darwin was the most original thing linked between difference and becoming matter and elaboration. I might mean a matter of future, the origin of these related full difference ge geographic variation, which is the link towards all of your arguments with you because it proves that we have, have to have, have some sort of material concern. Otherwise, we don't have the ability to engage in case you no permutation. Or if you say the question of the sequencing question, obviously, if I'm wanting to reverse causal argument, then it, the sequencing question should be after the case, which means obviously permutations do are coherent under your model. So that you can keep your meaningful, it will check out in this coordinate ground. Otherwise, you would just simply say that every single, uh, you would say every single less doubt the role of our arguments. This back to question why the judge has the obligation to vote on today. Educational impact of the first of people, you're not made a normative flip, which is equally key to any sort of ethical decision. This also impacts on the reliance on judging who is the role of authority and judicial fits students in a multi any conception of critical sins. That's rigor. Well, the full sense that our chance going self and social and private ethically private and epistemology presumption, the future knows better described an authoritarian model, but still student proper behavior for man and the judge can't apply violence to one normal relation to the other, which means that them saying that the judge should care about this for pedagogical reasons is a contradiction because that would necessarily stabilize the exact same arguments you can go for which is independent risk, reps this out of a reason about that. I will delete everything that was said. Okay, I'm not usually done my laptop. Or should you make the other Yeah, same. Okay, let me close this. <coughs> Alright,
round overview. Uh, okay. Wait, is the impact? Oh yeah. Okay. Round overview. The K, then the F. Should I just flow the overview on the K flow? Sure. Okay. Everybody go. Here's the overview first. You can see the argument under the John evidence, which warrants that even if you say evolution uh, is not static, you're you can see the argument that your network orientation towards evolution as a practice, which takes out a lot of the one argument. Second framing issues, you have just dropped the epistemic story argument that even uh, uh, it was on education claim the arguments that our model of thought is in reorient towards majoritarian thinking, which means the role that is an epistemic is you know all the arguments, the effort in the first place is gonna filter a lot of the offense made in the winner back to the permutation. Now here is the thesis of the critique. The thesis of the critique, there's no uh, stable or rational uh, rational way to determine the subject, although the subject is a process that cannot be unilaterally defined with some sort of core feature. The only there's a couple of independent links involved that I'll make very specific in the one year. So first start explaining by exiting the general evidence. The general evidence is uh, just choice the question of the choice of the question of the evidence focus on like uh, liberal subject or the practice the practice of, of reason uh, is still still determined some sort of core subject. Well, for example, the one year is really explicit on this question. They even they, they reinvent the link in the one year and they say agency is uniquely key. That just proves 100 percent argument. They assume some sort of former agency that is able to uh, practically reflect in the first place. The arguments that things like reason may affect the subject through the process of time, but will never unilaterally define this. For example, the idea of blackness may affect the subject, but there's still other features, other other desires, there's different flows and intensities that affect the subject is not unilaterally defined subject, which takes out a lot of the one hour arguments make it, it makes the link make very simple. Not the line line. You say conditions are subjectivity, uh, but you can see that this condition is not how we define the subject. Sure, for that reason may affect the subject, but there's still uh, instability to the subject, which takes out your control. You say perfect, I don't care about, I can't rush I don't, but that, that just misses the point. There are things, subjects may have some feature of them that may be rational, but the argument is that, or, or maybe be affected by rationality, but doesn't, doesn't prove I'm a perfect, my, I'm a perfect because I, I, I endorse things like affect and intensities, and I, and I endorse the idea that we're, we're constantly differentiating, which means I'm not perfect. You say, uh, you say state is inevitable, that that's, that's, that doesn't, um, I'll, I'll, I'll go to state like that. And then later, oh, you say per, per results, that's, that's not fine. That's fine. I'm not going to go over the state. Like right now, you say well, Evans is avoiding impact. That's fine. We get to the question of competing methodology. If I'm my methodology is not better, uh, you won't like this question. Now, the alternative, you say, uh, so so, uh, so you, see, you say permutation do both. You see, uh, AC as a starting point. Here's why uh, the permutation will never work. The AC as a starting point will never resolve the, uh, the links because the AC as a starting point will still assume some idea of stability in the first place. The only way we can have the uh, have in the first place is someone with model instability because it's a constitutive constraint on subjectivity. For example, it's, 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 in, it's in what Bruce was, but also takes out a lot of the one area. One binding these claims because the idea is that instability is is a is a feature is a constituent feature that's like really like constituent con constitutively unstable which means that there's things like uh, reason though, nothing unilateral defines those which also uh, takes a lot of a lot of your claims you said which also means a permutation will never result so the the big no accent the big no evidence saying the alternative is to reject the which means we look to moments of meaning and stable and reject those conceptions for example and then looking for instances when masculinity stable we reject it we avoid the comparison to majority idealized subject code which is what the app does we avoid the comparison majority uh, majority which means that we allow instability now the uh, so on evidence one this is this, this is you say uh, uh, also, you say it's easy to say the point. I put my, I put my, the links for what she's the point. It's about the Saldana evidence. One, it's still real. And this, this is just going to the authority that, uh, that uh, sure, evolution may itself be uh, account for difference. Ideas is your conclusion on what constrains evolution is correct in reflection, which in itself is a bruise, it proves it's which means this Saldana uh, evidence is, is not, it's just not going to, uh, it's just non unique. I've already accepted that evolution as a practice. Maybe about uh, evidence also evidence. This does not say what, what, what you want to say. You say uh, evol evolution, like you say biology, you can place thinking about the, about the social, but it does not say that the subject is defined by its biology in the first place, which means that, uh, sorry, it's just, it's just, it's just here, I'll allow, allow, make it very clear that one, one scenario was conceded as to why the idea of biology is okay. Now, they can't know the bi overview. Uh, first, you say you say binding is key, but uh, uh, the, uh, more like uh, if the body is conditioned to accept this argument, uh, we cannot say we are unstable. We, we cannot say uh, I don't, don't want to be uh, stable because ideas that things like uh, our effect desires inevitably will make us uh, not irrational, un un like unpredictable creatures that we cannot have. Some one key, you say you say my is not binding. The glues can never uh, just creating restriction on potential forces. Not creating restriction. It says this is a feature of subjectivity, and that feature is that allows for instability. You say your is binding, but you can see the response on the app how uh, the idea of Butler endorsing recognition is not, is not binding because we can be unstable under that recognition. The first that was dropped in the wire, which means that all the extension application 
notification about the round just game over in this question because you can see that uh, sure we, 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 we can set the norms affect this we gotta set the norms unilaterally define the subject uh, things like we're like, 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 things like a social norm may affect the subject we'll never define them you see your very different your strong different because your memory respects uh, because we look at evolutionary difference but I already accept a couple words why uh, your, your, your conclusion of evolution is that you say agency is key but all your own ideas of agency still presume the same and just same claim that like we, we, we have some sort of core uh, constituent of agency that can be defined by our social conditions and be honored so you can see that the only alternative is unintelligibility which means that uh, even if I count for it also does not account for transition between forms of difference because it in itself in itself is inextricably uh, tied to, to tied to the idea of uh, eliminating difference because we do not we do not allow for we do not allow for individuals who are not uh, this agent also you say it's a necessary account for transition that's not warranted or nor nor is impacted all, all the analysis of the case uh, no, no, the role that was conceded I'll concede that oh sorry sorry the record difference. Uh, first one, thing, I, don't, I don't say what I don't. I don't I, I, first, I don't uh, read. I don't. I don't say why education is relevant. The first thing, why, why pedagogy is equal, which means that this argument is invalid. Second, I don't endorse the view of what the judge should endorse. In the first thing, for example, I love for instability. Instability. The thesis of the case turns. I don't. Say, I don't say one model of education is good. Rather, uh, we have our own differentiating ideas of what education is. We cannot let it be constrained by some idea of majoritarian thought. Which the, 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 my current one of it is the thesis of what your uh, record evidence is. Because the record says I'm idealized thought of what education is bad. It's bad. But ID, I agree. Majoritarian thought is what idealized education is bad. Which takes out the internal in the case. Oh, uh, you say biological starting point allows for difference. Every person uh, assesses different conceptions of starting points, but you can see that uh, sure, the, the starting point of view, but your conclusion is inevitably bad in the first place, which means that even the biological starting point allows for uh, difference during your constraint on what, bio what biology means in the first place, i.e. rationality, is, uh, like you say, there's those two different aspects we need about practical question. This just uh, presumes the authority that practical question is inescapable. The argument is that, that things like we might uh, use it in certain instances, but things like other aspects and may overcome the idea of practically correct versus, for example, the idea of reason, the reason does not understand uh, our phenomenological responses to the world, but not actually encapsulating the idea of reason in the first place. You say, it's the birdie terrorist 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 terrorist
and then it'll just be like line by line on his K-Links. Very good. So overview I see K-Links? Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, going you, the down. overview that I read in the one here, like binary. Yeah, yeah, no, I got it. Yeah. Right. This is the frame you should have ratified from the binding. This is not something you can normally hold, and you do not have options left around. The only place you can possibly vote is for the extent. The reason why binding these keys does not matter how we can have a true that I think if you combine separate keys, only got two arguments here. He says my frame is not his frame is binding. However, the first argument doesn't make any sense. He says that it is constitutive of the desire we and unstable. Yes, that may be true, but the question is even if we are stable, why should we accept the unique negative orientation? Yes, it is true that we are stable, but why should we engage in the fishy machine? He's not worth an argument. He just says it might be pragmatic to do, but that's not a question why it's constitutive of us as people. If he's conceived the binding key, you have to be able to answer that question. And at the end of the two others, not a response to the question. The second argument you go for is that vulnerability is not a binding argument. However, again, that's a, there's a conceded argument off the Butler 3 debate, and the one is that the vulnerability is binding. His only argument is that you can escape recognition. However, you conceded the argument I made in the one here that that is escaping recognition, still engaging in recognition. For example, when I do not want to engage with you, or I say that, and I, for example, if I were to say I'm a black person, I want to particularize my identity, that's still engaging in different forms of recognition with different people, which is just a form of particularization, which is a unique framing argument that's terminally offensive against every single time that the two are made, uh, made on the framing debate. It appears that, we, that there is some sort of binding this, which at that point you can vote affirmative on the debate. Now, the vote of the the contention was conceded by the two and R, which means that you get the contention was conceded by the two and Now I'll go to the top of the app. I'll now go to the top of the app. I'll just win the framing arguments first. There's a difference argument that difference is uniquely now with the difference claims about what difference is uniquely key to ethics. We, uh, I say that we can respect the evolution difference that's constrained on understanding materiality or any sort of exit. This is a conceded argument the two and R. The only arguments he makes that are he's able to account for the evolutionary setting. But you should ask yourself, how does he account for the society evolution setting? How does he account for the fact that biology is constraining his interest? Literally, all the two and R says that yes, biology is true, but we can just say fuck it and not look to it. Obviously, that's not actually the account for how. Biology will function in the first place. He's not made explain the argument. You should not go for it. So extend the Havlin to our argument that explains the biology and it interpolates how we understand the world. And we are constrained in terms of our ethics. You just say we can be unstable. And again, that yeah, still presents that the ability to be unstable is still a question of your biology. For example, when you are shifting your trade, so that's still part of your biological asset, which means the AC is still a sign constraint on all this argument. And he's also conceded the privileges of his argument that not everyone can engage in the form of this. <laughs> for example, it's a lot harder for black people to have that argument. That was, a, that was an implication. I know the one here that was conceded, which always is argument for the That's final thing I'm going to do is win a lot of defense against. His specific boy garbage, his specific boy garbage for why he would you why he would you clean be able to win is he just makes an argument to argument about how the after tries to create literal subject matter. How am I gonna put some threads of link defense on this debate? I'm gonna win the entirety of AC contention and the AC framing arguments, which means if I win a lot of defense on the reason why the app is not that unstable, is not that stable, then that's probably sufficient for you to vote affirmative, especially when the two does not actually do any link up here in weighing in terms of how you should frame this debate. So the send my arguments that the affirmative still accounts for the idea of subject matter. I have all their evidence that indicate that we're constantly changing with respect to social norms. He just says that those social norms still assume a sense of sanitization, but no, they don't because my argument is that it is still some form of methodological change, which is definitely a reason why you can at least have some defense against this argument, uh, especially because you're going to answer the question of what the one to two to our unit doesn't resolve. So here, and so the round just breaks out like this. Bindingness is the first question that was conceded. You only have two arguments on bindingness. Obviously, you have one that's not binding. Just because you are unstable does not mean that you would necessarily have to gauge in his specific all. The difference arguments are uniquely constrained. He just, his arguments about the one air filters offense back don't really make sense. He's not, if he does not have a clear conception of how he accounts for evolution, don't vote for that argument. Vote app on the round. <laughs> okay. Congratulations to both debaters on making it to the semi-final round of the NSC Camp tournament. It is a 3-0 for the NEG. Uh, I think you're forgetting the, the NEG from the Traber Institute of the NEG Transcendental for the Traber. Studies. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, okay, I can start. I took the longest, so I think I have the least understanding of how this debate functions, but here's my understanding of what happens in the 2AR. I think the 2AR goes for one argument, which is this bindingness objection to the critique, which says that the critique's ethic is not binding. Um, so I think that you do end up winning the bindingness argument, but I just don't understand, because I think the RE that you do miss a response in the 1AR, which says that even our ability, even our, when we try to escape these norms of recognition and make them non-binding, that itself is a way of binding, which is like not a very coherent argument to me, uh, but is better, but is, ex is made in the 1AR and extended in the 2AR and not answered by the 2NR. So I do think he wins at the critique is not necessarily binding. The problem I have is I don't understand how the bindingness argument interacts with like the critique links and especially the weighing argument at the top of the 2NR. And this is the very top of the overview. And this is the argument that he said I should frame how I evaluate the rest of the critique debate is that I think that if he wins any links to the AF, then 
I, then the AF is an exam, example of majoritarian thinking, which means that I should be epistemically suspect about all of the claims that the AF makes, at which point I think the critique is a top layer uh, of the debate. And all of the bindingness arguments are dependent <laughs> on the affirmative, which I should be epistemically suspect about if he wins a link to the cat. Now, I don't understand the bindingness argument as interacting with the links in any coherent way. I don't understand if that is a no link argument to the K. It doesn't seem like it. It seems like a reason why the AF framework should come before the critique. So it depends on you winning the AF framework cards come before the critique. But I think if he wins a link to the AF, and I don't think the 2 AR contests that the AF has some static core to the agent that links them into the critique. And the 2 is pretty good at explaining, I think, why even if you like say evolution is the way we account for difference, your orientation towards evolution and saying that it is the one thing that defines us is linked to the critique. I don't think the 2 AR touches that, which means that I think the 2NR wins a link to the critique. The framing argument at the top of the 2NR is that that means that the AF is an <coughs> example of majoritarian thinking, which skews our epistemic access to the AF, at which point I think all of your arguments about bindingness and whatnot are just cross apps from the affirmative to the critique, say the AF first, but since I'm suspect of those claims, I think the critique comes first, and I can vote next. Yeah. Uh, I can go next. Um, so the first thing is that uh, I don't vote on the privilege to sad. Uh, I didn't flow in the 1AR, and even if it were conceded and like I just missed it, uh, I don't think that like one analytic response to like entire NC position, even if it's conceded, is going like unless there's explanation as to why the impact actually comes first. Uh, like I don't think there's any analysis done where like ex exclusion is like an independent voter or like precludes the critique for any reason. So I don't buy that. Um, I also don't look to the modesty framing in the 2AR. Because uh, I think that this is an, a misapplication of modesty. Um, uh, so, like, my understanding of methods debates is that in a methods debate, the method is the advocacy. It's not like a criterion that you weigh anything else back to. So, your arguments about why you're like not totally stable or why you still acknowledge <coughs> stability in some sense are not reasons why you have like met his framework because that's not his framework. It's his advocacy. You're just uh, those are just reasons why you are less different than his advocacy than he says so. Um, and so uh, I feel comfortable not viewing the round modest, modestly uh, because it was in the 2AR, so Ari doesn't have a chance to like, you know, counter that in the 2NR. And like, I just think that's a misunderstanding of the methods debate. So then I get to where Chevain evaluates the round. And I agree with basically the majority of what Chevain says, except I disagree. I don't think that the binding this claim is necessarily one. Uh, I think there's a conceded argument that like reason isn't constitutive of everything. For example, like uh, reason doesn't tell us like how we like phenomenologically interact with the world. And like Ari doesn't really explain this super well, but I think I know what he means. Uh, I I think just based on like other understanding of like the the debate between like uh, Deleuze and like more static conceptions of identity, I think I know that he's talking about like the way that like uh, the structure of reasoning like or the structure of the human experience like affects the way that we like uh, experience the world, which is like has nothing to do with reason. Uh, so I'm like, okay, that's an example of something that's outside of reason, and I don't think we are response to this. So I don't think that you're ahead on the binding this debate. And I also agree with Shabane. It's unclear if this is like a no link argument or like what the exact impact is. But uh, given that there's the majoritarian epistemic skew argument, um, I think that if he wins a link to the critique, then I have to be suspect of the app framework. Uh, and I also thought that this would come into more clash with the evolution uh, epistemology arguments, but it doesn't in the 2AR, uh, so I don't uh, compare it to that, and then I think I can just negate on critique. Okay. okay, so I think that uh, first, about the epistemic modesty framing that you do in the 2AR, so first, insofar as you don't extend a response to the alt in the last speech, um, or like have answers there, or ink on that part, even if I were to buy the epistemic modesty framing, I don't know how I'd resolve that, because both then it's like your advocacy under your framing and his alt, both have a hundred percent shrink of link. So I just don't know how I would resolve that debate. Um, so, but also it's like new and it's just it's like and the same, I had the same issues with it as they did. But then on the bindingness argument, a couple of things. First, um, I think that the Jung evidence is what made me decide more clearly on the bindingness claim, because I think the Jung claim is that we need to like the entire conception of agency in the first place is flawed and of rationality. So if that's true, then the idea of being bound to pursue a specific obligation in the bindingness claim is no longer valuable. So that's how I value it. That's how I value that part. And that argument is made in every speech by Ari. The idea that 
your entire conception of like bindingness as like being a framework argument that's important still relies on the idea that rationality is like the intrinsic key factor of what defines an agent, right? And insofar as Ari says, there's rationality, but there's also affect, and there's also like all these other phenomenological factors that affect us as agents. I think as long as that is like something that that's an argument that's conceded along with the Jung evidence, I think that means that your conception of bindingness is no longer a sufficient framework takeout. Um, yeah, and then on the evolution claim, which I actually do have flowed into it. I, so like basically the two issues I resolved were the bindingness claim and then the evolution claim. Um, you can see in a response, it's basically an argument that's like, uh, uh, here we go. Yeah, so Ari literally says in the 2 and R, the starting point is good, but the conclusion is bad. So I think that that is what most clearly resolves the framework debate. So I think you don't even need to really look to the bindingness claim or like the other arguments insofar as he's basically it's like it's functioning in the same way as a hijack would insofar as he's explaining that he agrees that we need to be phenomenological and we need to look at like things like evolution. But his argument is then we also have to look at things like affect and desire and other things that influence us as agents. So not just rationality. I think that's how I also like account for this difference argument. And I think that you're just like you don't really answer uh, you don't answer that in the two AR. The idea that you presume uh, that you presume the authority, the practical reason is inescapable. That like practicality is the most important thing. When Ari just denies that practicality is important. So that's how I resolve the debate.